In this video, I'm going to calculate rolling averages or moving averages. This calculation is going to be based on a rolling seven day average, but you can do it for any period of time. It's the same method. In my example, I've got my dates and the number of cases on each date. Because I'm calculating a rolling seven day average, I'm going to calculate the average of the first seven days worth of cases equals average. Select the first seven days worth of cases, press enter, and that is my average. And I'm going to copy this formula down for the rest of the row. So all I do is just double click on this little fill handle. It copies the calculations down. Now to create the chart, just click in any cell and go up to insert, go over to your insert line or area chart button. I'm just going to go for the first chart type there. That's your basic chart. If you don't need these calculations that we currently have in column C, but you just need to show the rolling average or the moving average in your chart, there is actually a slightly quicker way. I'm going to delete our current chart. I'm going to ignore column C. And I'm going to select columns A and B, our original data. So having select those two column headings, Control Shift down arrow key, Select down to the last consecutive values. Control backspace to go back up to the top or to the active cell. Insert and we'll create the same type of chart. If I right click on this line in my chart, I can add a trend line. And in the format trend line task pane, I can change the trend line from linear to moving average and then change the period setting. So I'm going to say seven periods. And there you can see the moving average trend line. I want to change the color of that trend line. I need to make sure it is selected. So I click on it, go up to the format tab on my ribbon, shape outline, and I can change the color. Now there is another way you can do this. Same data. To use this method, if you go to the data tab on your ribbon, you're looking for the data analysis button in the analysis group. If you can't see it, Go to File, Options, Add-ins, Manage Excel Add-ins, Go, and tick Analysis Tool Pack. Then click on OK. So what you do, it doesn't matter where you've clicked, you just go to Data Analysis, choose Moving Averages, click on OK, Input Range. So in our example, that's all the cases. I'm going to click into B1, Control Shift Down Arrow Key, Select down to the last consecutive value. Labels in first row, I've got that ticked because we do have a label. Interval, we can put whatever you like in there. I've got seven because I'm calculating a seven day rolling average. And then you have to specify an output range. So I'm going to make my output range C2. If you want a chart, make sure that chart output is ticked. Click on OK. Does all the calculations for you. If you want to change the chart type, right click kind of adjacent to the chart title, choose change chart type. And I'm going to go for this line graph here. Click on OK. We have pretty much the same chart as before. It's a bit of a shame it's not showing the dates at the bottom there. But what we can do is right click again in the chart, select data, horizontal axis labels, click edit. Click in A1, Control Shift down arrow key to select all the dates. Click on OK, click on OK, and you'll have the dates on the horizontal axis. If you want to get rid of this legend, just select it, press delete, and you're done. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe, give me a like, and I'll see you next video.